My name is Adekunle Adeniji. Should I call this daily ozu? Well, it should be daily ozu because, I mean, it's part of your daily routine. I'm just trying to enlighten people more about the gaming industry. Investing in the gaming business, which we call uh, the sport betting industry in Nigeria. It's no news that we know how big this industry is now. People are making a lot of money. I was fortunate enough to be one of the few guys who came in when uh, the industry is just coming up. And um, one of the problem we had when we were starting up uh, my previous company, I was the founding employee. One of the issues we had was that uh, people felt the game, the business is for gamblers, it's for people, for illiterates and all that. But again, there are a few guys, young guys who came in, supported us, opened shop, invest in the business. These guys are now, after five years to six years, these guys are now millionaires some um, are raking in more than 10 to 15 20 million every month from this business well you may think you are late already like there's no money in the business you're wrong there's still a lot of money in this business and there is still chance for you to invest in this business you might ask that what type of people can own a shop well, anyone can own a shop as far as you have the fund required to start a sport betting shop. Um, I remember 2012, December 2012, that was after Betna just started. I was a staff, I was a staff there. Then um, I was a staff, 9 to 5, doing my job 9 to 5. But I realized this is an industry that's is getting disrupting so that is getting disrupted that uh, it's an opportunity for me to also uh, own a shop by the side why still do my 9 to 5 job that is how I started to have shops even as a staff so no matter even if you're a staff or somewhere you're an employee working somewhere that is not an excuse for you not to have a side also which sport betting shop is very lucrative as a side also i've seen bank employees people work in banks have two three four five shops and they start to make good money from their shop that they can even afford to resign from their day-to-day -day job i've seen businessmen invest a little or nothing in this property side also and if it has gone to be their biggest source of income so basically Anyone can start a betting shop. Anyone, no matter what you do, no matter um, how, how hard your job is, your normal job is. You know, if you were a student, there was a lady I know started a shop when he was uh, doing his NYHC. He wanted to start a, a business, he wanted to sell shoes or something, but then somebody told him, uh, told her about sport betting. And she started her first shop while in school. From there, when she started her NYC business, uh, uh, service, she started her second shop. Now she has like five shops and she's not working for anyone. It's a multi billion dollar business industry right now. So if you are interested and you say, man, I'm pumped, I want to start something in this industry, what do you need to do? How do you need to start? First, you need to find a very good company with a very good software that is popular among the youths, among the stickers, among the players. We all know you, we can only count one to three sport betting industry. I know about Bet Niger, I know about Bet King, I know about um, Naira Bet, you know. But let's say you want to start a shop today. Although I own Bet King, but still, I cannot suggest. The point of this video is not for me to suggest a company to you, but it's just for me to show you 
the opportunities that exist in this industry that you are leaving on the table. Don't let your judgment cloud you to say hey, this is the small industry, these are uh, people who the people who play, the people who invest in that industry are just illiterate and all that. A lot of people are cashing out in this industry. So the first thing you need to do is do your investigation based on the popularity of um, the company you're about to join. You ask people, do you think this company is the right company to invest in? Why do you think I should invest in this company? How does their software work? Their commissions and all that. These are the first thing you need to do. You need to do your research very well. You can just jump in. Don't let advertisement, don't let BLT banners, don't let signage attract you. You need to do your, go to the streets, know what people are playing, know what is next. I know some companies are just full now, you cannot even get their franchise, but there are some new companies that has potential. One of these companies is mine, but anyway, still, I'm not inviting you to join me in. But if you join, you will never regret it. So, look for the right company to work with make sure they have your uh your interest at heart like they're not all about getting the money they're all about okay they are also in the business to help you also once you get the right company to work with the next thing is to look for the right place location for your shop i mean you don't want to have a betting shop around the Koyi. As part from the shop is going to be expensive, you not probably don't get enough people to play it, you know. If I want to start a petting shop today, I'll look around the Keja, I'll look around Yanapaja, I'll look at Jegunle, I'll look up, you know, Lagos Island, you know, place where I know no matter how much I invest, I'm going to make by my money. Place with large crowd, place with where there are youth, you know, marketplace and all that. Those are the right place to look at. And please don't ever go and look at, uh, go and look for shop at the top floor. Nobody's going to come there. You know, the industry is not getting competitive. That it's even going to be very hard for you to sell. Um, if you take, go take the third floor, the second floor, and all that. Unless you are dealing with a very popular brand and you know people will always come and look for, for you. The next thing is when you're looking for a shop, you make sure you're getting your shop maybe at the first floor. Or the ground floor, always ground floor, but basically first floor or the ground floor. Your shop should be as as average as possible. Like you don't get a small shop; it's not going to do you any any good. Make sure your shop is at least big enough for thirty people to stay inside without getting really uncomfortable. So make sure your shop is big enough to at least old 30 people together people don't want to kill if you're not giving enough room for people to book for them to play easily enough cashiers for them to to play their game they're going to go to the next shop the business is getting competitive but again the industry is not yet at its peak there is still so much money on the table for new uh, investors to come in new agent to start you know there's still enough space for everyone right now. It's still land grab era. After you've located the right shop, do your research, locate a very good uh, company, find out the best company you can work with, find a good area to pull your shop, make sure it is well equipped and big enough for at least minimum of 30 people to, to be inside at a time, you know? After that, you know, you need the right staff. Right staff is very important, you know. You might have your day-to-day nine-to-five job. You need to have the right person to help you man your shop on a day-to-day basis. Because, I mean, you need the right staff, the right attitude, you know. It's, I keep telling people, now it has gotten to the stage that people will come to your shop, customers will come to your shop based on how you treat them. The betting industry really is a different one. You have customers who are very aggressive, you have one who are cool, you have the ones who are very literate, you have the ones who are literate. So you have a mixed type of people to come into your shop. So you need to know how to level up with them, you know. So and you need the right staff, the right cashier to do that. My experience, good people always know good people. In my years of running shops, I think I've run more than 20 shops at a time. And 
so far so good. My six years of running shops, it has always been smiles. I've never once had any of my cashiers run away with my money or anything. I, there's no romancing. I cannot keep romancing a bad shop. There will always be time where you make a wrong judgment. You think you have a good shop, you think you find a good location, but sometimes you still end up making a wrong judgment. You don't have to uh, be romantic about it. Understand that you've made an error and you need to move on. So let me um, rewind a bit. Best post betting company around you. Best area location. At least an average big shop. The right staff who can manage your shop well. You will need a supervisor. If the shop is not big enough, you will need a supervisor. You will be your own shop manager. Then you will need cashiers. It needs to be a minimum of four cashiers for you to make good money. I think guys with 30 cashier shop and they're doing very well. The minimum I make on a daily basis, uh, on a weekly basis with my uh, watch shop is um, 80k a week. And this is a shop that I have uh, three cashiers. I have a shop with six cashiers that makes 200,000 a week. You know, when I was running actively in shop, now that I'm, I'm a director, it's a bit harder to, you know, go down to look at shops and everything. But, you know, when I was on the streets on a daily basis looking at all these shops, I make minimum of a million every week. Minimum of a million every week running these shops. So that is how lucrative these shops are. So I don't know what you're doing right now, but if you're looking to make extra money, Shops, sport betting shop is something you could look at. I don't think you will ever lose the sport betting shop. There's little or nothing you need to do. You don't have to be there every day. You have a phone, you have a computer, you can check what they're doing in your shop. If you're just coming out of school and you're probably thinking, you know, you, you don't know what to do, you have not seen a, a job or something, I think it's something you can look forward to find any of your uncle or something you don't have the money to you know invest in you and from there you can start something i don't have to do this i don't have to do this video i don't have to tell you this but again i can't know all this information and not tell people out there that there's so much money everyone you guys are living on the table in this industry i think i will continue doing this it could be every week it could be every day but i will open up the opportunities in the industry um, what you could do, how you could enter. One day I'm going to do a review of all the betting companies around so you know which one to choose. But again, it's really very hard for me to recommend. If you have any questions, you want to ask me anything, uh, I will leave my email on this screen so you can, you, can, you can drop me an email or you can comment on this video. Follow me on Instagram, at Meet Adekunle on Snapchat, Meet Adekunle, Facebook also, my page is Adekunle Adeniji. YouTube is the same thing, Adekunle Adeniji. Um, I'll be glad to answer any of your questions. If you want to join my company, send me an email and I will gladly reply every of your email. I just want us to keep doing what we're doing, keep doing the right thing and um, let's keep hustling. See you another time.